Have you ever been on a plane hit a bit of turbulence and wondered, how does this massive metal tube stay in the sky? Or how can a racing car corner at incredible speeds without its chassis just twisting apart? The answer isn't magic. It's a field of engineering that is absolutely critical to our modern world, yet most people have never even heard of it. We're talking about stress engineering. So what exactly does a stress engineer do? At its core, a stress engineer is a professional detective for forces. They figure out how strong things are and, more importantly, how they behave under pressure. They deal with the assessment of stresses on all sorts of complex objects when they're in use. Think about the enormous pressure on a submarine's hull deep in the ocean, the intense vibrations in a jet engine or the delicate, precise forces exerted by a prosthetic limb. A stress engineer's job is to analyse, calculate and predict how these components and structures will hold up. They use incredibly powerful computer software to create digital models and simulations, a technique often called finite element analysis, or FEA. This allows them to apply virtual forces like stretching, compressing, twisting and vibrating a component on a computer screen to see where the weak points are long before anything is ever built. It's their analysis that determines if a design is safe, if it's efficient and if it will last. In short, they are the guardians of structural integrity. Companies like Rolls-Royce and BAE Systems rely on them to ensure every single part of an aircraft, from the landing gear to the turbine blades in an engine, can withstand the extreme conditions of flight. They are the reason we can fly safely. But it's not just about planes. The UK's world-leading motorsport industry, including Formula One teams based here, pushes materials and designs to their absolute limits. Stress engineers are vital in shaving off milliseconds by making cars lighter, yet strong enough to protect the driver in a crash. They also work in the nautical world, designing everything from naval ships to massive offshore wind turbines that have to endure the relentless power of the sea. The field is even expanding into groundbreaking areas like medicine. Imagine designing a new hip implant. A stress engineer will analyse the forces of walking and running to ensure the implant is strong enough to last a lifetime without failing. Becoming a stress engineer in the UK typically starts with a degree in a field like mechanical, aeronautical or civil engineering. You need a deep understanding of materials science, solid mechanics and mathematics. But beyond the qualifications, you need a specific mindset. You have to be meticulous, a natural problem solver and have an almost obsessive attention to detail because in this job, the small details can have massive consequences. Thanks for watching Career Chronicles UK. See you in the next video.